Sim, te escucho, Juan. No se oye nada. Good evening, good evening. Hello, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, uh, good evening teacher. Hello, Karen. Hello, Ada. Hello, teacher. Hola. Yesterday I got into the class because we are in the last part of the thesis. And we had to meet and move. For what? I apologize for that. Okay. Good. Good for you. You're about to graduate. Um, see you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you studying, Karen? I am very, very tired. And I had sleep because I... Mm, no, my no. question is... What are you studying? Ah. Um, accounting. Accounting. Uh, yes, la, la licenciatura en contaduría pública. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Yeah, accounting. Bachelor in accounting. Bachelor. So, bachelor. Bachelor. Oh. Yeah, bachelor. Yeah. Wow. Hi. You like numbers? Yes, but I like more money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are good opportunities, but it's very hard. Very hard. Yeah. It's true. I don't see myself as an accountant. Uh, I'm not good. <laughs> Why? I'm good with numbers, but I don't see myself working only with numbers. Yeah. So, yo soy bueno ahí con matemáticas, pero no. No es para tanto. No es lo mismo. <laughs> Yeah, but peor, o sea, claro. You need to be very organized. Uh -huh. Yes. Y el tiempo, el tiempo es oro. Yeah. En mi caso me gusta mucho, pero tampoco me imagino envejeciendo de esta carrera. <laughs> ah, ok, ok. Ok. Primero Dios salga de contador y después obtenga el sello de auditor. Ah, andar oh. contando las costillas. <ríe> ok. Sí. De hecho, este mes es un pesado para mí. Yes, the end of the year. Tanto, no más haciendo inventario. Yes. Ok. <ríe> What is your company again? Can you refresh me? ¿Puedes recordar cuál es su compañía? I work, I work eh, in S.Z. Consultores S.A.D.C.B. Ah. Consultores. Yes. Es una firma de, de contabilidad y auditoría. Ok. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Melissa. Hi. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Good. Okay. Great. Melissa, what is the most expensive uh, liquor that your company sells? 
we have two. We have Tequila Don Julio. There's a presentation that is, that is named 1942. It cost $143, $45. And then we have Johnny Walker Blue. Mm. Cost $288. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I would never pay that money for for a bottle. Me neither. <laughs> ah, ah, there's a lot okay. of, <laughs> but there's a lot of people that buy those. Mister Mister Funes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's fan of that kind of liquor now. Yes. He's... The problem is that he's now in Nicaragua, so <laughs> we lost that sale. <laughs> You lost that customer. Yes. <laughs> okay, he's drinking rum. No, he's still drinking Johnny Walker yeah. Blue. Imagine. Okay. But you know, my first, my first job yes. when I was like, uh, what? Maybe 15 or something. Uh -huh. It was in a, in a, uh, with Ron Flor de Caña. Really? Yes. A, f a friend of mine worked with them and for this season, the end of the year, uh -huh. we went to to glue uh, in that time los sellos, timbres, llevaban antes uh -huh. las botellas. De eso uh -huh. trabajábamos. <laughs> Aquí en El Salvador. Yes, yes. En, en, Ahí. Bueno, nosot nosotros vendemos flor de caña. Ah, oh, flor de caña. It was in, in San Salvador, in Boulevard Venezuela. El Tesoro Monje. Ahí near the, near the Terminal de Occidente. No. Ahí, ahí. Oh, I imagine, <laughs> I I'm know. talking about... <laughs> 30, no, 30, 35 years ago. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I remember. We have the brand right now, but everything comes from Nicaragua. The product is ready and, and we just make the distribution. Ah, okay. Sí. Me recuerdo que poníamos las filas de cajas. Y nos sentábamos en ellas, íbamos sacando y pues pegándole, sacando y pegándole. Y se nos que, y, que, y quebramos varias. Sí, sí se deslizan. <risa> Sucede. Pero no nos las cobraron. Gracias a Dios, porque ahora sí las cobran. Sí, supongo que sí. Ok, welcome, Andrés. How are you tonight? Hi everybody. Good night. Fine. New That's uh, we probably want my PC. Your what? My PC. The oh. no char. Ah, oh, so the, you, you are on your cell phone right now. Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. You work in a the restaurant. Do you work in no. a restaurant or something? Uh, no, I am. Uh, I I like the cooking. Yes. <laughs> um, ah, because your photo in 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 Zoom is from a restaurant, I think. Your ah yes, uh, uh, that uh, I am um, like a trips. Uh, mm. Visit a, a restaurant that's people nice in the night downtown in San Salvador. That I like the walk, the que dice people's night. Ah, I take a, a picture. Ah, okay, 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 good. Hey, where did you go, people? Turn on your cameras. Okay, let's get started tonight. 
Tonight I have something for you. Might, might be easy for some of you. Might be difficult for others. But let me see. Let me... Yeah, let's start with this. Do you know what tongue twisters are? No? No. Tongue twister. This is a, Yes, this is a tongue twister. Can you see the tongue twister? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is this is called let me write it here. Tom Twister. This is a tongue twister. What is tongue? Lengua. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tongue. And twister, so it's like Yeah, remolino, torcer, twister. Okay, and this twi dog twister says, a big black dog bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, I'm gonna read it again slowly. Listen, a big black dog bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Now, can you repeat with me or after me, please? Repeat after me. A big okay. black bug. A big black bug. A big black bug. Beat a big black dog. Beat a big black dog. On his big black nose. On his big black nose. Okay. Now a little bit faster. A big black bug. A big black bug. Be a big black dog. Be a big black dog. On his big black nose. His big black nose. Okay. Now. All together. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Now a you? big black dog on his big black nose. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. One more time. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, now one by one, who starts? Me. Okay, Melissa, <coughs> go ahead. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, very good, good. very good. Next. Yo. Who says yo? Good evening. Good evening. Milagro is going to read lo the tongue twister. Yo, pero no lo decir tan a big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Karen. A big black bug Big a big black dog on his big black nose. 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 Okay. Nose. Good. Who else? Me. Uh huh. Go ahead. A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, very good. Más rápido. <laughs> a big black dog beat a big black dog on his big. Okay, next. Who's missing? 
Ada, your turn. A big black dog, big, a big blood, black dog on his big black nose. Okay, good. Andres? A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Excellent. Very good. Okay. What is a bug? What is a big black bug? Insect. Ah, this. Yeah. This is a big black bug. What? La gran cucaracha. Yeah. What did he do? Eat a big black dog. No, beat a big <laughs> black dog. He beat a big black dog. What is beat? Mordió. Morder. Aha. Morder in past. Mordió. Okay. Beat is the past of bite. All right. Okay, very good. So, who did he beat? Did he bite? Un gran bicho negro. Yes, who did he bite? A big black dog. To a big black dog. He, he beat a big black dog. Okay, where? In the nose. In the black um, big nose. On his big black nose. Very good. Okay. Let's say it one more time. As fast as you can. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. You? A big black dog. A, a big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, come on, everybody, please repeat after me, but fast. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Now, let's continue tonight with our the topic we studied yesterday we finished talking about the about should oh i need to take the attendance I'm sorry the first attendance of the evening now Okay, please turn on your cameras and respond. Uh, Wendy Patricia Molina, not yet. Fatima Ifigenia Lopez, not yet. Ada Susana Cáceres, present. Good. Person David Menjivar, absent. Madeline Gabriela Alfaro, absent. Veronica Yesenia Enriquez, absent. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso, present. Thank you. Andres Alberto Rellana, present teacher. Okay. Cesar Humberto Lopez, not yet. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez, not yet. Cindy Alexandra Ramos, present. Good. Carlos Antonio González, not yet. Marlon Ernesto Serrano, absent. Francisca Delmira Guillén, not yet. Liliana Melissa Olivares, present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores, present. Okay, and María Milagro Rosales. Present. Okay, very good. So I want to have a quick review of 
should, which is the topic we studied um, last Teacher. night. Teacher. Uh -huh. De, me voy a cambiar del cel a la compu. Me voy a salir de esta reunión para meterme en la compu. Ok. Ok, let me enlarge this a little bit to practice. Okay, so please give me your suggestion. I will give you a situation and I want you to give me your suggestion. Um, <clears throat> let me start with Ada. Ada, I'm afraid of cats. What should I do? And I sure you're talking to me. I uh, I uh, I sure not cut. You're talking no, to I me. Like uh, you're talking to me. Uh, a question. I'm asking you. Hey, Ada, oh, I I'm afraid of cats. What should I do, Ada? I know. I don't know. <laughs> yo, yo le estoy preguntando, ¿verdad? como que si, ah, quiero que me responda a mí. What should I, ah. I do? You should. You should, uh, I like the cat. You should, I like the cats. Mm. No. Ah, está diciendo you te deberían gustar los gatos. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, you should like the cats, podría decirme. You should like the cats. Te deberían gustar los gatos. But I'm afraid of cats. Okay, let me go with Cindy. Cindy, I have a cold. I have a cold. What should I do? Ay, ¿cómo sería? No sé, la verdad, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? Que si tengo frío, I... No, a cold is... Ach. Ah, ach. Resfriado. Yes. I have a cold. What should I, I do? Should, I you, should... You should... You should... Has a cold. No. Creo que, ando, creo que ando perdida ahora. ¿Qué me recomienda? Yo, yo, yo te digo, I have a cold. You should go to the doctor. You should go to the doctor. Ah, thank ah. you for la ayuda. Ah, ok. Good. A ver, vamos con... Eh, milagro. Ay, ¿yo qué hice? Ajá, ¿Qué va a hacer ahorita? Ay. Ok, vamos a ver este. I'm often late for work. I'm often late for work. What should I do? ¿Qué cree usted? What do you think? Um, you should uh, um, get up uh -huh. early. Early, okay, excellent, very good, very good. Now, let me go with Melissa. Um, I often get lost. What should I do? You should get a map or use ways or something like that. Ah, okay. <laughs> You're right. Um, Karen. A ver, Karen. Yes. A ver, I... 
A ver esta. I want to improve my English grammar. What should I do? Uh, improve. Espérame. No sé qué es improve. Improve. Become better. Mejorar. Improve. You, sh you should study more. You should study more. Okay. Yes, that's right. Let's see this one. Francis. Ah, uh, this. Hello, teacher. Hello, Francis. I want to quit smoking. I want to quit smoking. I want to quit smoking. What should I do? You sure? You sure? Uh, not not smoking. Yeah, but I can't. I want to quit. No fumo. You shouldn't. You, you should. shouldn't. Uh huh. You shouldn't not smoke. You shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. Smoke. You you should the smoke. Smoke. No the smoke. Okay. Remember that in in cuando, cuando usamos should. El verbo tiene que ir en forma básica. Okay. ¿Verdad? No, no podemos decir you shouldn't smoking. You shouldn't smoke. You, should, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't smoke. Smoke. A ver, aquí, a ver, cualquiera, respóndame. I want to live to the age of 110. What should I do? ¿Cómo se dice pedirle a Dios? <risa> a ver. ¿Cómo se dice pedir? Pedirle a Dios. Ajá. Pedir. ¿Tiempo? Pedirle tiempo. Ok. In English. A ver. I live to the age of 110. Dice Karen, debe, que debo pedirle a Dios. ¿Cómo diríamos eso en inglés? You should ask God for more time. Ah, you should ask God. For more time. Okay, but... Another answer for that? Or, or you should pray to God. You should pray to God. Okay. Let me see. Number five. I'm bald. You know what is bald? No hair. Bald is no hair. I'm bald. What should I do? Please, I need your, your, your How do help. How you say peluquín? Peluquín. Well, peluca is wig. El otro is... I, I don't even know in Spanish the name of that thing. Tiene un nombre... Tupé, creo que se llama eso. Ajá. Pero en inglés sería igual. Let me see. Yeah, in English. Porque el peluca es wig. Y ahí dice yo soy calvo. Yes. <laughs> yo soy, I'm bald. What should I do? Ya yeah, es la misma, tu pe. En inglés es tu pe. 
T O U P E E. To pay. Okay, thank you. Entonces, ¿qué, cómo, cómo, ¿cómo sería eso? En una oración. You should use uh, to pay. You should use where. Ah, okay. You where? should wear a uh, to pay. A uh, to pay. Okay. Alguien dijo otra cosa por ahí. You should wear a cap. You should wear a hat. Okay. Yeah. Or easy. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, Pichet, Calvo se dice ball. Ball, yes. Ball. Okay. A ver, my neighbors make too much noise. What should I do? Call the police. Uh, okay, give me a sentence, please. You should call the police. Ah, okay. Well, it's dangerous, <laughs> but... Okay. Uh, I think... Look at this. I think oh. I saw a ghost last night. What should I do? You should run. You should run. <laughs> Andres, I need your, your advice. I You should run, Lisa Melissa. Another idea? Are you sure that goes goes there? <laughs> you should what? Do you should do you should call the ghost monster? <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters, okay, okay. Um, and the last one. I want to become famous. What should I do? Uh -huh, people, I want to become famous. What should I do? You should be an, an actor or a singer ah. or a TV star. Okay. Okay. Good. Very good. Well, that's it, okay? So we used, we learned how to use should last night. Tonight, we are going to talk Peter, about, I, hello? I have, I have a question. Okay, tell me. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una lámina de la otra? ¿De cuál otra? De, como hay dos ahí, hay 20. 20 preguntas o son iguales todas no 20 questions mm, yeah. uh, es, idealmente esto se, se usa en, en parejas y a uno se le da un grupo de, de preguntas y al otro otro grupo de preguntas para que se las hagan uh, pero presencialmente sobre todo no a un grupo a uno a un alumno se le da Por ejemplo, este y al otro se le da este. Para interactuar con preguntas diferentes. Pero aquí son nada más 20 preguntas. Ok. So, tonight we are going to talk about... Uh, because in this unit we are talking about communication at the workplace. Tonight, we are going to learn how to write short and professional emails. Okay, you will be able to write short and professional emails to co-workers. Okay. So, tell me, do you send emails every day? Yes or no? No? Yes. 
Melissa says yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, Ada? Yes. Yes, every day. And what about you, Karen? Do you send emails every day? No, I no. don't. See? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. And Francis, do you send emails every day? Yes. Yes. And you, Milagro? No. No. Okay. What about you, Andres? Do you send emails every day? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Cindy, do you send emails every day? No, I don't. No. And you, Jennifer? Do you send emails every day? Yeah. I didn't hear you. Yes, I say email. Okay, and you, Wendy? Yes, teacher, every oh. day. Every day. Now we have another question. Should emails be brief? I mean, short, brief is short, or long? Should emails be brief or long? What do you think, Wendy? Is dependent. Ah, depends on what? The message. Depends on for the message. Example, uh -huh. Yes, for example, is a uh, only message uh, indication or information mm -hmm. is short. It's uh, brief. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, for example, today I I send one mail uh, the homework. Uh, uh -huh. it, it, it was long because uh, tenía. I, I have or, or it had. I, uh, I have a. Um, uh, much indication. Ah, okay. Okay. And uh, and adjuntos, doc otros documentos. Attached. Okay. Attached, yes. Okay. Many attachments. Okay. Um, what, what do you think, Karen? Should emails be brief or long? Uh... When I was write emails are short. Oh, okay, good. What do you do if you see a long email, people? Yes, if you receive a very long email, you read it or or not? Yes, I read yes. information for my work. Ah, okay. depends on the information. Yeah, yeah. depends the that information that so only is information that clients or uh, no, but information that the distributor ¿cómo es? sería distribuidores o proveedores suppliers providers, uh, suppliers of the the office that's no real ah okay good can you give me some tips to write nice effective emails can you give me some tips how uh, email should be give me some some tips that you know algunos tips que ustedes sepan y consideren importantes 
to write effective emails? Think about sometimes that. Sometimes you can use, sometimes you can use um, bullets. Ah, okay. When you're typing the, the email to be more specific, you could use um, bullets. Ah, okay. You can use bullets, says Melissa. What else? Okay, maybe we are not very familiar with that. So we are going to learn about that. Look at this list. We have a list here. And two activities or one question. Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? When you write your emails, do you follow these eh, tips? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál de estos tips ustedes aplican when you write emails? Okay, chequen individualmente. ¿Qué de eso ustedes aplican when you write emails? Yeah, that significa the be brief. Short. Breve. Uh -huh. Brief. Not, brief. not long. It's the opposite of long. Okay. Me, for example, I don't use capital, all capitals. Do not, do, do not use all capitals. What is capitals? Mayúscula. Mayúscula, ¿verdad? Do not use all capitals. Avoid using the subject important. Bueno, yo tampoco hago esto. Okay, I avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation. Sí. Yo, ah, la verdad, no, no siempre. Be brief, yes. This is me. Express clearly why you are writing, yes. Do not use abbreviations. Mm. A veces sí utilizo. Do not use smileys or emojis. Eh. No. In emails, sí, casi nunca uso. So, esto soy yo, así. Hay algunos que no los aplico. ¿Verdad? Estos dos, por ejemplo, sí. No siempre los aplico. What about you? ¿Cuál de estos tips tal vez ustedes no aplican? Tell me, please. I don't apply to one of, of these tips. I do not use um, a smiley. Ah, okay. And that's the only way that I never use. Okay. Alguien más? I don't use uh, capitals. Okay. Yes, yes, using the such as important. Uh, use a uh, formal salutation. Uh, no use the abbreviation. He don't use uh, smiles. Okay. Uh -huh. In my case. Uh -huh. I never use smiley emojis okay. and abbreviation never do and 
do know I uh, you know use of capital and I don't remember uh, I use the subject important maybe no never okay okay Muy bien. Alguien más? How do you write your emails? Okay, so I I do not use an abbreviation and I don't use it is my ah, okay. Very good, very good. Now we have a conversation here about this topic. Look at this conversation. Listen, please. Let me read this conversation. Uh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, please repeat after me. Turn on your microphones and repeat after me. The conversation between Amanda and Luis. Do you often send emails? Do you often, Do you often send, send emails? Email? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Yes, it's appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails. No, it is not professional. No, no, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? I see. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, please, this word. Business. 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 Okay, yes. Don't say business. No, no, no. Business. 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 Hmm? Business. Business. Okay. Now, uh, let's practice again. Now, I am Amanda and you are Luis. Okay? Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Do you often send emails? No, no. You are Luis. You are Luis. Is yes, it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, no it's, it's not, not, professional. not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, yes, sure. sure. Okay. Now you are Amanda and I am Luis. You begin. One, two, three. Do you, do you, do you open, open certain emails? emails? Yes, I do. It is a email. No, it is not professional. I see. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. The, the pronunciation of this is emails. 
Email. 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 This word. Appropriate. 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 Okay. Good. Very good. Now, I want you to practice this uh, conversation. That's word, teacher. Don't what? Teacher. It's abbreviation and abbreviation. Abbrevi abbreviation. 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 Okay, Appropriate. Appropriate. Okay. Uh, I want you to practice this conversation using different tips from this chart. Van a practicar la conversación varias veces. Utilizando estos tips de este cuadro, ¿verdad? Esto que vimos acá. Cambiándolo en la eh, conversación. Van a ir cambiándolo en la conversación. Acá en esta parte. Acá, cuando pregunta, is it appropriate to, aquí le cambian, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, preguntan, is it appropriate to use smileys? Is it appropriate to use capital letters or capitals? ¿Verdad? Eso van a ir cambiando en la conversación. So, voy a mandar a trabajar en parejas y quiero que practiquen la conversación utilizando diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? En lugar de preguntar, ¿Is it appropriate to use abbreviations? Preguntan, uh, ¿Is it appropriate to be long? O to use a formal salutation? ¿Me explico? ¿Cómo yes. van a practicar? Muy bien. Entonces, voy a colocarlos en parejas. ¿Verdad? Para que trabajen. Un momentito practicando la conversación. Entren a sus grupos, por favor. En, practiquen la conversación utilizando diferentes preguntas.
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, sister. How are you? Fine. Okay. Fine, thank you. Right now we are working on on page thirty three in the book. Thirty three. Yeah, with this this conversation, they are they are practicing this conversation. Okay. Okay. So let's give them some minutes to work on that. Okay. How was your day, Cesar? Uh, today I have a hard day. Oh, really? The, the traffic, yeah, the traffic is terrible. <laughs> it's for it's for the the it's for Christmas, yeah. Yes. The, the, the Christmas, the traffic is, is is very hard. Where do you live? In in La Cima, Colonia La Cima, San Salvador. San Salvador. San Salvador. Oh. Yeah. And, and and work? In Santa Tecla. Oh, it's not too long. Yes, but but I the traffic I is go, crazy. <laughs> yes. It, Y yo, este, ¿cómo se dice? Paso a recoger. A, pick up. A, my, I have a pick up uh, to my my wife. Uh, ah. And then the, my my daughter. Oh. <laughs> es una larga ruta, entonces. Yes, I, I am the, the, the taxi the driver. driver. The taxi <laughs> driver. <laughs> okay, I see. Then, then the uh, in the night the traffic is is hard in the uh, Boulevard of Proceres. That's crazy. It's hard. It's hard. And your in your wife works in Santa Tecla too. No, she works in uh, Colonia La Roma. Colonia Roma. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. And she lives uh, too late. Oh, really? Later than you? Uh, yes, at 7 p.m. <laughs> ah, you have to wait. Mm -hmm. Yes. I live at uh, 6 p.m. Ah, it's Mm -hmm. One hour. Yes. Okay. And your daughter is with the grandparents? Yes, with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is life. Yes. 
Okay, I will bring them back to continue with our work. Okay, teacher. We are talking about emails tonight. The emails? Yes, we are talking about oh, okay. how to write professional email. Ah, okay. That is tonight's lesson. Okay, on this. I want to share this. Okay, welcome back. Now, uh, you are going to prepare a presentation in group about something, but first I need to take the second attendance of the evening. Okay, so please turn on your cameras and respond. Wendy Patricia Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Fatima Ifigenia Lopez. No. Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. Thank you. Person David Menjivar. No. Madeline Gabriela Alfaro. Absent. Veronica Yesenia Enriquez. Absent. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Present. Andres Alberto Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Humberto Lopez. Present. Good. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez. No. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Cindy, bueno, se nos cayó. Marlon, no, Carlos Antonio González. Didn't show up. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. No. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Ok. Karen Stephanie Flores. Present teacher. Ok. And María Milagro Rosales. María Milagro Rosales, I need to hear that. Present teacher. Ok. Ok. Well. Uh, ahí al WhatsApp les acabo de mandar esta información. Oh. Voilà. Esta información. Ok. So these are uh, some uh, important things to consider when you are writing an email, a professional email, okay? Or a, a, a business email. So I want you to read this, ustedes lo van a leer, y quiero que, lo, que armen una, una presentación, ¿ya? Así en, en PowerPoint, no, no solo copien y peguen esto, ¿verdad? Armen algo bonito y lo van a presentar, nos lo van a explicar. 
¿Qué vamos a hacer en la presentación exactamente? ¿Un ejemplo de un correo? No. Ustedes van, aquí les doy yo la información, ¿verdad? De esto tomen, tomen los datos, tomen la información y armen la presentación de los 10 consejos, 10 tips para escribir email. ¿verdad? Eh, vienen algunos ejemplos de, de, de cada cosa ahí. Pero quiero que lo armen bien y sobre todo que lo preparen para presentar. Los tres grupos van a, van a ser lo mismo. No lo voy a separar en, en partes, no. Los tres grupos van a ser lo mismo. Así es que merecen presentarlo bonito, hacer su presentación ¿verdad? sobre esto. Y esa tarea es para el fin del módulo. Nel, nel, nel. <risa> Es del, francés, de, del francés, del francés Nel Pastel. ¿Verdad? Ahorita, ustedes son buxos y rapidito lo hacen. Bueno, ya se los puse ahí. Hoy solo me resta hacer los, los grupos. Ok. Groups of three vamos a hacer. Vamos a crear. Three groups only. Ahí está. Ok, entren ahí y preparen su presentación. Even in the soldier line along with the, with a brief of nine of what the email body will include. Como siempre debes incluir eh, meaningful, no sé qué es meaningful. ¿Qué es meaningful, teacher? Meaningful. Ah, meaningful, que, que tienes mucho sentido, mucho significado, algo que sea anda oh, okay. eh. Cher, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es un de esto que nos mandó vamos a sacar un resumen o lo más importante uh -huh. y eso lo vamos a poner en una presentación. Exacto. Okay. Okay, y okay. Y por último, van a crear un modelo de email. Van a escribir, a redactar un, un email de, como parte de la presentación. Usando, ¿verdad? Estas, estas reglas. Ok. Ok. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer como una presentación. Estas son como unas reglas, entonces. Ajá, o sea. Ok, ¿cuál es el que vamos a usar? Hello. Me... Hello, teacher. ¿Está clara la actividad o hay algo que no les quedó claro? Vamos a hacer todos los signos. ¿Perdón? Vamos a hacer todos los tips que envió, o sea, toda la información que envió. Sí. Sí. No, no. O sea, la idea es, es hacer una, un PowerPoint 
sobre los diferentes tips que envió. Exacto. Hacerlos como, como en presentación, ¿verdad? Cada uno. Exacto. Bien. Pueden y resumir, que... adaptar, así, sí. adaptar a su, a su palabra, ¿verdad? Pero sí, diez, sí los 10 puntos. Y al final, escribir un email utilizando toda esta. Los 10 los diez puntos. Todas estas reglas. Karen, que abierto, había abierto otra sesión. Sí, de la compu, pero se trabó la cosa, me sacó. Oh. Es que lo que pasa es que lo estoy viendo del celular para trabajar en PowerPoint, pero no, no me apareció. Ok. Veamos. Hello. Teacher. Hola. Fíjese de que quiero ingresar porque solo, yo tengo acceso a computadora, pero sí. quiero ingresar para conectarme desde mi compu, pero no sé si me tira para otro grupo. ¿Cómo puede ayudarme para incorporarme a este grupo, a este equipo? Sí, ahorita estoy viendo que está en dos sesiones. Ajá, me salgo de aquí y me incorporo usted en la otra. No, ahorita aquí. Ahorita. A ver. Ah, ya le llegó la invitación. Sí, Ahí está. ¿Alguna duda con la actividad? Ah. Ahorita vamos a comenzar porque como no teníamos computadora para la presentación, ahorita vamos a empezarla ya. Ok. Entonces, la información que les he dado es, es una base, ¿verdad? De ahí extraigan los... Básicamente son los 10 tips, pero pueden resumir. Diez. Pero siempre tienen que salirles los 10. Y al final van a escribir... Vamos a hacer 10 días, perdón, 10 días positivas entonces. Pueden ser dos por cada uno, no sé, como quieran. Una por cada uno o uno. Y eh, al final un correo donde utilizan todas estas, estas reglas. ¿Ok? Ok. okay.
the quarry. Do not yes, eat yeah. all capital or, or all a small case and leave. No use the capital or small El tema puede ser capital. Small. ¿El qué? Solo capital es el tema. O use of capital. Este dice que no use todas mayúsculas ni todas minúsculas. Ajá. Entonces podría ser. A menos que se esté refiriendo a algún acrónimo o término que sea familiar para el lector. Uh -huh. Entonces, puede ser de use of O sea, como de qué va a hablar. Ah, o sea, tiene que dejar claro el tema de a lo que, a lo que se va a referir, como a lo que se va a referir el, el correo. Ajá. Por ejemplo, ajá, porque por ejemplo en los asuntos pongo a veces este, impuestos tributarios y luego ajá. pongo lo que le digo en el inicio de la oración, la fecha o, fecha, o plazos a vencer. Así entiendo la número tres. O sería sé que sea claro en el mensaje de su correo por lo que quiere darle a entender a, al lector claro y conciso porque la verdad es que la mayoría de clientes no quiere leer correos largos ah, claro, preciso y conciso tiene que ser su cinto cabal
Eh, en el 5 dice de que siempre tiene que ver. Espérenme, 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 espérenme. Espérenme. Ahora estoy montando este chunche, espera. Teacher, ¿qué es el lenguaje coloquial? Teacher. Hello. I'm coming. Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué es lenguaje coloquial? Uh, que no es formal, es así, casual. Uh, porque dice que nunca usa coloquios. Mm. Okay, sí, como, como caliche. Mm, okay. ver, sí, que, que, se, que se escuche más formal el, el email. Yes. Sí, no usa el puchica. Sí, algo así. Vale. Vale. Do not use it all capital. No uso letras capitales. Esa es la letra mayúscula, es la cuatro. Siempre chequé. El spelling. El spelling. Como puntuación y es mi texto.
Sí. Ahora, number 10. Have a signature block. The the time for the sign the sign signature. Get Faris and single the Faris. Hola. Hello, teacher. ¿Por cuál van? Por las seis, teacher. Ah, ok. Y la nueve dice, use siempre párrafos. Ok, you have five minutes only, ok. Five minutes, teacher, todavía no falta el, el, el email. Oh, ok. Creo que lo vamos a terminar mañana. <laughs> sí, teacher, es more work. Okay. Much work. Un Número poquito seis. más. Entonces. Tenemos. Un poquito ¿Tenemos? más, sí, tenemos tiempo. Sí, porfa. Va. Okey doke. La nueve dice que hay que usar siempre párrafos.
Me voy a ver esto y guardas esto. Es que guardar la madre. Ok, people. Um, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo quedaron? ¿Terminaron algunos? ¿Les faltó algo? Cuéntenme, cuéntenme. Terminamos. Wendy, terminaste. Yes. One minute, minute, only one minute. Ok. Uh, lo, lo vemos mañana entonces, lo que han, lo que han hecho. Ahora ya eh, se, nos, se nos está yendo el tiempo. Solo recordarles. Teacher. Uh, hola. Teacher, nosotras terminamos. Nosotras terminamos. Tomorrow. Vaya. Ve el de nosotros, está genialísimo. Excelente, sí. <risa> Excelente. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, pero solo déjenme recordarles que mañana tenemos la sesión personalizada con Cindy, eh, Carlos, Marlon, que bueno, ya no entra, y Francis. Nada, básicamente Cindy, Carlos y Francis. Eh, ¿A qué ahí... horas voy yo, teacher? Bueno, Cindy a las 10. Correríamos a Carlos a las 10 y 10. Y Francis a las 10.20. No sé si alguien más quiere apuntarse para la de las 10.30 y de las 10 y 40. Me avisa. Si no, hasta ahí estaríamos, ¿verdad? Con Cindy, Carlos y Francis. Porque hay una chica que nunca apareció. Y Marlon, pues, que parece que ya se retiró. Ya no, ya no apareció tampoco. Y eh, bueno, igual si me avisan temprano, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tema quieren que, que repasemos? Pues yo preparo material, ¿verdad? Ok. Para eso. Um, con lo de la presentación, hagamos, hagamos una cosa. Si, si terminaron la presentación, mándenmela al WhatsApp. Yo creo que cabe en el WhatsApp. Si no, les voy a poner mi correo en el WhatsApp. Para verla, pero igual la van a presentar mañana, la, la, la presentaría mañana, ok, porque ya hoy ya, ya no tenemos tiempo, así es que, por okay. favor, asegúrense de presentarse mañana, verdad, no, traten de no faltar para que no dejen a su grupo ahí eh, cojo, ok, Vamos con la última asistencia, ¿verdad? Y para que Milagro no se sienta mal, pues empezamos de abajo para arriba. Preferencias, eso está malo. Thank you, teacher. Vaya. María Milagro Rosales. Ya va a ir. Ay, Dios, ya Dios, lo conectó. Esto, hombre, así no, hombre, se desconectó la Milagro. Ni espera que termine ¿no? de, de, de decir su nombre. Bueno. Karen Stephanie Flores. Present. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Present. Gracias. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present. Eh, Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Ya no entró. César Humberto López. César. Que se escuche. Sí. César, César ha estado muy callado ahora. Está, está de travieso. Ah, muy está, callado. Estaba activo en el grupo. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Present teacher. Ok. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Ok. Eh, Ada Susana Cáceres. Present. 
Estaba el milagro ya. Fue, y ya Patricia dieron. Molina. Present teacher. Good night. Ok, people, good night. Good night, night teacher. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Night. Good night. Bye, bye. Take care.